Hi, Tom Walls, Carbide Processors. This is for the folks at WD Quinn who say they watch me at lunch. I'm flattered, but two things I might suggest. One, if you've never seen it, get a copy of Jeremiah Johnson with Robert Redford. <laughs> Much more entertaining than I am. The other one is that I really like is, I think it's called Old Lions. It's about two guys that adopt their nephew. Uh, pretty cool guy movie. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about was kinds of flux. There are three kinds of flux for us, for brazing tungsten carbide. One is a white flux. Excuse me. And the British people, the British uh, saw doctors recommend a white flux because you can see the work through it. Black flux. Black flux is white flux with extra elemental boron in it. Over the years, we've solved a lot of brazing problems for people by suggesting they switch from white flux to black flux. Flux gets used up by a combination of, of, of how high the temperature is and how long it's at temperature. So a lower temperature, longer, or I don't know, whatever I'm trying to do. I think you get it. Um, higher temperature uses it up faster. Longer time uses it up faster. Anyway, um, but it, it seems to work a lot better than just the change in chemistry would lead you to believe. The third thing is a purified flux. Ordinary black flux is, is a cost-sensitive product, as everything is. And it's made to be used externally, so like painting the sides of a saw blade or whatever. And it's made to be relatively inexpensive. So it'll have 15 to 20 percent inert elements in it. And if I ever get caught up, I'll do a blog post and, and put up a picture. But you can see a, a, just a little crystal of an inert element in it. Purified flux is about 98, 99 percent pure. So there's no voids or anything else in between the, the well here. Pretend this is a saw, a saw notch and that this is a tip. The problem is with the flux in here, uh, if you've got inert elements, they get trapped in there and they can create voids. With the purified flux, I think I mentioned this before, about half the people that try it like it better, about half that don't. So if you're experimenting with flux, I would I would suggest that you try those two uh, if you're really looking to fine-tune your operation. There is also, my people think that there is a difference between black flux, black flexes from different suppliers. Um, I know Wolverine makes their own, and Lucas Milhop makes their own, and Prince and Isant is now making their own. Um, I personally like Lucas Milhop and I like Wolverine. I've met the Prince and Isant guy, their flux guy, and he's really bright, and I think they'll get there, but well, it's been a while since I tested it, but they weren't quite there yet. So anyway, that's it. Um, try to find something more entertaining to do at lunch, and try experimenting with all three fluxes and see if it makes a difference for you. That's it. Have a good evening. Bye.